Hey guys, it's Karis. Welcome back to my channel. It is officially now 2021, a time for new beginnings, which means I need to reorganize my bookshelf. I've gotten three completely new series since the last video that you saw. Um, I got the Hunger Games series, the Divergent series, and the Maze Runner series. I've read those all before, but I didn't have any hard copies. They were all on my Kindle, and that is, it's not the same. Now that I have the hard copies, um, I have no space for anything on my bookshelf, so I need to figure out a new plan because what I have going on now is not working. I started the process so that this video would be slightly less long, so all of my books are on the floor. And I have to go to work now, so when I come back, we're gonna fix this and put them all back in the shelf. I wanna do it by like alphabetical order, but also by genre, but I don't know if I have enough shelves for that. There's so many. <laughs> Look who's here. I wanna keep like my distinct series together, so like Divergent, Hunger Games, but then I also have like a bunch of different ones that are like the beginning of a series, but not the whole thing. So should I put those with the other series? Yeah, because you might get the other ones and they'll already be there. Yeah, but that's probably gonna take up like two shelves because I also have the whole Harry Potter series. I'll put the ones that I have right down here because I'm not like, hey, then where do my poetry books and my self-help books go? If there's space with the tarot. How should I organize what I have and haven't read? By author or by uh, genre. Like genre? Put them on this shelf. I don't like that one of them. But it was the only one that they had. I read them like... Okay, should I do all my John Green books? Like, since I have like all of them. John Green is like John Green. Like Crash I know. <laughs> then he's like this amazing author, but he's like... Crash Wars. Yeah. <laughs> hardbacks this month. Apparently this book is really good. What's what crystal books on? Yeah. It? No. It like maybe it away. No. These are like also books that I feel like everyone has read. Like classics that aren't classics. I'm gonna put those over there. Okay, good. Nice one. I'm drawing. The only one that like really made me like Well, at least I can rely on not always having all of my books on my shelf at one time. So up here we have my self-help books with my tarot. My self-help books were actually up here before I organized them, but they just fit the best up here. I don't know. And then over here we have series. Right now I don't have the second or third books of the Harry Potter series, so I will have to make this work at some point when I get those back. We have Harry Potter, the selection series, also Kira Cass's other book, The Betrothed, um, then all of John Green books, and then two more books by the same author, and then Eleanor and Park because it doesn't fit anywhere else. Then we have more serieses. We have Hunger Games, Divergent, The Maze Runner, and these are all books that are serieses, but I don't have any of the other books. Then we have most of my hardbacks and then all of my classics. Then we have like random YA section, just random books that I have. Also with like five books that are basically classics but like not considered classics. Then down here we have all of the books that I've already read plus my poetry books. I also need to find a place for this and for my mom's Outlander series. I forgot about that. Okay, that was all. I just wanted to show you guys that I got another book. I got The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. I've watched the movie a couple times, but I've never read the book. It was like $10 on Amazon for the hardback and in stores it's like 25 or something like that. So I actually do have space on my self-help shelf for this book, which is exciting and surprising to say the least. I wanna start doing like longer, more in-depth reading vlogs, but I'm reading Pride and Prejudice right now and it's taking me a really long time just because I have to read everything super carefully. And it's the first classic that I've 
ever read besides like what I had to read in school. So once I finish that, I think I'm gonna start going through books a lot faster. A typical YA like romance book, for example, would take me about like two or three days to finish if I'm reading constantly. I also just wanted to talk about Pride and Prejudice a little bit. I've noticed so many differences between the movie and the film. Wait, what? The book and the film? I actually am kind of preferring the film just because it was the first thing that I saw and so I'm more familiar with that. There's also a ton of differences. Like I noticed in the movie, Lizzie is more kind towards those around her and in the book, she's a little more like standoffish when it comes to people she doesn't really know. And a huge difference that I noticed was in the movie, Elizabeth does not tell Jane about anything that Mr. Darcy says to her while she's at um, Hunsford with Charlotte and Mr. Collins. But in the book, she tells her everything basically that happens. I think that they didn't cut out any super important part of the book. And I think that everything flows really well in the movie. I'm so close to being done. I really, 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 really wanna finish it so that I can move on and finally put one book on my Goodreads challenge. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below any ideas you have for future videos. I will see you next time. Bye.